sneaking around in the background. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. Do you know where the buttons are? For what? For the TV. I put them in the washing machine. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. Well, what do you mean? The, the ones for that TV. I brought them in here. Where? A few days ago. Well, we've been using them. No, not the, not the Sky ones, the TV ones. I don't know. Are they in your drawer? Are they under your big pile of stuff that you've left? Okay, anyway, welcome to a new vlog. Well, this yeah, is this I is irrelevant. <laughs> Where were they? Underneath my hoodie. Underneath that big pile of stuff? <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Honestly. So, it's Tuesday night and I'm just on my way to an event. It's actually one of the first events of the year and it's with Look Fantastic at King Street townhouse um which is always a nice venue so we're going for a meal and cocktails first oh <laughs> who did you think i was talking to yeah, do you want to be on camera tim's brother's here <laughs> yeah and then we've then they're doing like a love island screening at king street townhouse so that should be fun um let's show you my outfit so this is what I'm wearing. It is these Zara slouchy denim jeans, which they were in the sale, but I think they might have brought out a similar pair again. If not, I'll link something similar. Topshop boots, which yeah, I think are still in stock. Um, this belt by ASOS. Hoz fine knit jumper, because it's absolutely freezing outside. It's Storm Ciara, Ciara. And <laughs> who is it? What is it? Sierra. <laughs> Is that not the American way? Oh, oh shut up. Shut up. My Zara headband and Zara cropped blazer. And I'll put some sort of bag on, obviously. I think I'll wear this headband. I don't know if it's a bit too extra for a Tuesday night. I was going to ask Instagram what they thought, but... Oh. actually sure what we're meant to be eating tonight but I'm actually starving so yeah these two have been out to the new place in Manchester called Donna House which does kebabs <laughs> would you recommend it yeah yeah it's good yeah, yeah decent, decent decent <laughs> anyway no one needs to hear your opinions on this. so that's the plan Freya's going as well but she is staying over a hotel um so i'm just gonna meet her there i think i put some of this on it's the mac fix plus and it's a coconut one mm, it's nice i'm feeling better than i was before i'm feeling a bit drained before and a bit kind of lethargic i'm couldn't be bothered but well not couldn't be bothered but just a bit blah anyway feeling much better now all ready to go wrapped up in this big fur coat ram nasty girl right let's get this uber and I thought I'd go through the boxes with you that I got. It's like, what time is it now? About quarter past 11 and I met Freya this morning. She slept, uh, she slept, she stayed at a hotel nearby. So we shot an outfit this morning. 
um and yeah i came back here and just done a bit of work and now i'm just going to show you the boxes because why not so i think there's oh there's going to be a link in the description box um of how to get hold of these so these boxes are look fantastic if you don't know look fantastic's beauty box is like a subscription based box beauty box i love these concepts of things so okay had a slight accident there laptop off the table camera down but anyway so this box is their valentine's day box um so i'm not sure i don't think this particular one will be available um after when this vlogs up but i thought i'd show you anyway just to kind of get an idea of the brand and the concept of the brand so the first thing is this dr brandt microderma bait microdermabrasion exfoliator apparently this is quite a new brand but um one of the girls said was it kylie jenner that posted about it the other day mm, it smells nice so yeah i think it's going to be like an upcoming brand and it's a skin exfoliant i'm actually looking for an exfoliator i've not really got one so we've got the pixie by petra eyeshadow palette some gorgeous shades in here actually shades and face shades as well like nice naturally pinky shades um some shimmeries um sorry i look really scruffy today but never mind um then this cookie benefit what is this a highlighter oh that's a nice shade that's like my kind of shade very light subtle let's see if you can see that there yeah you can see that there really nice shimmery shade so that's benefit one so you do get some really good products and brands in the look fantastic boxes and then a big version of this color wow it's dream filter um pre-shampoo mineral m remover filters out color destroying minerals found in tap water that dull darken and distort color which that's interesting i really thought about that and then we've got the eye cream oh this is cool eye cream here which is gen cream for e-cooking oh it's by a brand called e-cooking and it's an eye cream that's cute and then finally an intense booster by sarah chapman definitely one to try oh i oh know that's a little thing but yeah so that's in that box and then in my second box this is their february box so in this we've got mask protect lip mask why can't i read protect lip mask so you pop it on gently remove both film from both sides you apply it to dry and chap lips which obviously in february time kind of essential and then we've got the spa body oil love a spa products i feel like this is gonna smell so good yes it is so that's body oil which is lovely a little lipstick anti-meta lipstick oh this is spy Lamasca. Oh, I like the shade. A rosy kind of colour. 9J30. It's cute. A little size. A beauty blender. Well, it's called Brushworks Complexion Sponge, which, as we know, always comes in handy. And then we've got a mask. A cute little mask here. So this is by. <sighs> I'm trying to pronounce this brand. I've had things from them before. Philorga. Philorga? meso mask meso mask um smoothing and radiance mask so again they're kind of like quite seasonal things with the lip protector and the hydrating mask and then obviously the valentine's is catered towards that with the shades that they do and things like that so yeah definitely worth subscribing i think to a beauty box because you get so many nice products and things that you might not necessarily go out and buy so you kind of get more for your money yeah love it I've just had an H&M home parcel arrive, so I'm going to open it with you on camera. I ordered three things from them the other day, so let's have a look. Like I said, I'm most excited at the moment for home things, so here we go. So the first thing I've got is this basket. It's like a black metal wire basket, and it's to go on the shelf here. Oh yeah, I think that'll look good. I'll show you in situ in a minute. And then I got 
this candle to go. I'm trying to bring a bit more black out on the shelf. So this candle here, it's a mahogany one. So I'm hoping it smells nice. Mmm. Yeah, it smells lovely. And that's going on there. So that looks nice with that. And finally, something I think that I'm most excited for is I got a tray for the coffee table. So this is the tray. It's not real leather, but I don't really think it matters because there's going to be a lot piled on it. So it's black and it'll go on our coffee table. Love it. Yeah, I think it's going to fit perfectly in this room. So yeah, very black. Okay, so this is what they look like. So we've got the tray here and I've put this H&M home candle on here, which you'll have seen in my favorites video. If you've not, um, I will link that. Yeah, the tray with my Sustrine Garen candles and this is from The White Company, which I'm gonna put some greenery in there. But yeah, absolutely love this tray on here. Makes such a good addition and kind of brings everything together too. And then my little shelfie, I've got the basket on there and then the candle. But I just think they look so cute in situ. Um, I think I need to kind of rearrange them all in general, like that bottom one's not finished yet but maybe a couple more bits and pieces and then I'll be finished. But really happy with that basket. I think it looks so good. And I will link the H&M Home products below too. So we've had a bit of a move around this afternoon. We've got the mirror behind us. Basically, where the mirror was before, which was at the end of the corridor where the plant now is, it was great. I really, really liked the mirror there and I feel like it did light up the whole end of the corridor so I'd definitely consider getting another mirror for there but it wasn't very good for light so the reason one of the reasons I bought the mirror is to clearly show my outfits better kind of day to day and it wasn't doing that down there so we have transported it to the kitchen and moved the shelf so this is the mirror currently so excuse the washing in the background are uh, slightly worse for wear plant which I think to be honest we've been trying to replace for a while and I think it's it's almost time for it to go. We have then put the shelving unit here kind of like a room divider in the living room and yeah that's what it looks like. I actually think it looks all right because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with that shelf so I'll try it there um, and it kind of separates the living area from the dining area and kitchen and makes it feel slightly more cozy Yeah, that's what we've done. I quite like this situation now and I can show my outfits in actual Natural light. So this is what I'm wearing. Well, this is what I'm wearing currently, but I feel like I might change so we are going to Australasia to try out their Valentine's menu. So I think it's a bit like the sunset one where we went last week and it's like um, a bento box, I think. I've never actually eaten in Australasia, so I'm really excited. And yeah, it's, it's a press visit. We obviously did the press visit last week and now we're doing another one, but it's quite nice because I got a lot of questions about Manchester and um, it's nice to try out different places and show you or tell you which ones are good ones. And I um, got a little story highlight on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. And on that story highlight, oh, there's a whole like Manchester section which tells you all about like restaurants and cafes that I've been visiting basically. That is that. So we're going to visit Australasia. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it'll be good. It's the most beautiful interiors in there so I am really excited. Um, but like I said, this is what I'm wearing but I'm not 100% convinced on it. I don't know what it is. I might, I might change into something else. I think maybe it's the hair back with the blazer because I wore this outfit last night without the shirt and my hair down obviously so I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure <laughs>
Thursday morning. Came back from sunset last night. The food there was absolutely delicious. Couldn't recommend the food enough. Very, very nice tasting. So yeah, we had that last night. Very full. Um, came back, we watched, we're watching, uh, it's called The Stranger or A Stranger on Netflix. And what's so good about it is that it's based in Manchester. Well, it's filmed in Manchester. So we recognize all the locations, which is good. It's a bit weird, but it's nice. So, ooh, battery's flashing. I've just filmed this makeup look for Valentine's Day, which should be up tomorrow. It'll already be on my Instagram when you see this. So yeah, I just need to tidy up now and yeah, get cracking with some work, I think. I need to edit that video. Actually, so that's all fine now. <laughs> so work is pretty much all done for the week so i think i'm gonna conclude this vlog here yeah i'll see you in my next video my next video which i'm not actually sure what it'll be but it'll be something so thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying the vlogs i feel like i'm really getting into these weekly vlogs i feel very consistent with youtube at the moment so fingers crossed it continues but yeah if you are enjoying them please let me know and hit that subscribe button because i watch loads of videos on youtube and sometimes i don't even realize that i'm not subscribed to that person um, so yeah, it would mean so much if you did press the subscribe button so you can kind of get alerts to when my new videos are up. And also go and follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and you can see more on our home account, Lydia Tomlinson Home. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.